So why are people leaving New Orleans at such an alarming rate? I mean, you got amazing food, culture, jazz music, iconic history, world history, but yet people are still choosing to leave New Orleans. So it left me to do a little bit of research and this is what I found. Real quick, my name is Wayne Turner. I've been a real estate broker for nearly 30 years. I live and work in the suburban areas of New Orleans. I sell real estate all around the metro New Orleans area. So I began my research with home affordability. I know that the average sales price of a home is $348,000 across the nation. But I was curious, what is the average sales price of a home in metro New Orleans area? It's $451,469. That's $103,000 more than the national average of a home in the United States. Now, as a real estate broker who sells real estate all across the metro New Orleans area, it wasn't hard for me to see that a lot of people are moving from Orleans Parish to neighboring parishes like St. Tammany Parish. So it led me to go, okay, what is the average sales price of a home in St. Tammany Parish? And it's $321,000. So if you look at the difference between the average sales price of a home in Orleans Parish, New Orleans, which is $451,000, as opposed to St. Tammany Parish, where people are moving to, it's $321,000. That's $129,000 difference in the price of a home or $1,000 a month on your monthly mortgage payment. So I dug a little deeper and I thought, what about the average sales price per square foot? Because everybody looks at that sales price per square foot for the most part around the country. In St. Tammany Parish, the neighboring parish, it's $155 per square foot. In Orleans Parish, it's $243 per square foot. So besides the savings of home affordability, saving money on your monthly mortgage payment, I thought, what about homeowner's insurance? Is it cheaper to live in other places, other cities, other parishes than Orleans Parish and come to find out it is. Now according to bankrate.com New Orleans is 40% higher in their homeowners insurance as opposed to the national average. Now the average policy of a $250,000 home in New Orleans runs $1,992 a year compared to the national average of a homeowners policy is $1,448. Per year. But look, that's comparing the national average of a homeowner's insurance policy as opposed to a homeowner's insurance policy in a city. It's always going to be a little bit more in a city as opposed to a rural or a suburban area. So since I was on insurance, I thought, what about automobile insurance? Well, unfortunately, that's higher too. Come to find out, automobile insurance in New Orleans is 40% higher than the national automobile insurance. It was 11.2% higher than other city and parishes around the state of Louisiana. So I couldn't help but wonder why is automobile insurance so much higher in New Orleans than anywhere else? Well, that led me to auto theft. So as of 2023, there's been 23 cars per day on average stolen. That's almost one an hour vehicle stolen, which is substantially up from last year and the year before and the year before. But there are other individual factors like uninsured motorists, accidents, lawsuits, uh, storms, damage with vehicles due to a storm or due to a flood or due to a hurricane, and it all kind of surmounts. So I looked into the cost of living. Surely it costs less than the national average, or at least it's comparable to the national average, to live in New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, come to find out it's 12% higher to live in New Orleans, Louisiana than it is the national average. Now, when it comes to utilities, utilities are 24% less than the national average. But when you look at groceries and cost of goods and services, it averages about 5% more than the national average. So what about healthcare expenses, doctor visits, dentists, that sort of thing? It's 17% higher than the national average in New Orleans. But here's a good one. Here's good news. Property taxes in Louisiana and New Orleans is substantially lower than most cities and most states. That's right, Louisiana is the third lower state only higher than Alabama and Hawaii when it comes to property taxes. And the biggest reason for this is there's called a homestead exemption in the state of Louisiana. And that means that if you live in a property and you claim that as your personal residence that you live in, you get to claim 75% off of the value of your property. So for example, if you have a $200,000 home, you get to deduct $75,000 and you pay property taxes on $125,000. But there's gotta be more to it than that. What about traffic? And I always tell everyone, 
one. The traffic in New Orleans is nowhere near as bad as it is in a lot of other major metropolitan cities. However, when you live in a city, you're going to have traffic. It's going to take you a little bit longer to commute. And that's why when you live in a city, you typically pay more in automobile insurance, not just New Orleans, but all major metropolitan cities. Where you have people, you have more accidents. And traffic, if you just don't want to fool with it, don't want to deal with it, we're finding that more and more people are moving on the outskirts in suburban areas, mainly because they're either doing hybrid work from home, work at the office, or they're just full on working from home these days. Now, another major, major reason that people are leaving New Orleans is for the health and well-being of themselves and their family. At this point in time, in 2023 and in 2022, New Orleans, Louisiana has some of the highest crime rates per capita of any other city across the nation. But look, for the most part, people don't want to leave. They love the culture. They love the people. They love the food. They love the history. Everything that New Orleans brings. Unfortunately, you have to look out for your own best interest and make sure that you're living in an affordable area that you can afford. And most importantly, that you live in an area where your health and well-being is not just a major concern 24 hours a day. So this is why people are leaving New Orleans, but they're not going very far. They're moving to neighboring cities and neighboring parishes where they can save a little bit of money on taxes, save a little bit on automobile insurance, buy a bigger house for the same amount of money, or buy the same house for less money. But at the end of the day, the big driving force for a lot of people is just the crime. They don't want to constantly be reminded of the crime. And it's not just New Orleans. This is happening to a lot of major metropolitan cities around the country. And let's face it, crime pushes out residents. Crime pushes out visitors. Crime pushes out tourism. And tourism and visitors among all these major metropolitan cities, whether it be New Orleans, Nashville, Dallas, Atlanta, Orlando, they thrive and need the tourism. They need people to visit their city. And I can tell you, if a city is unsafe and a city is not clean, people don't want to visit it. And the goal is to have people come and visit your city, to want to live in your city, to want to share their memory and experiences with others within your city, not be scared to visit. So it's pretty simple. Keep it clean, keep it safe, keep it affordable. People will visit, people won't leave, people will live there. But I'm curious to know, what do you think? What's happening in your neck of the woods? What's going on with your city? Do you like it? Would you rather move? And until next time, have a good day.